Hi, this is Steve. I want to show you a quick example of how to set up a 1099 vendor and then how to do the 1099 processing at the end of the year. It's really quite simple, so let's take a look at it. The first thing I want to do is set up a new vendor. So let's set up a new vendor and we'll make it a 1099 vendor. So let's just do that right now. So I set up a new vendor. Let's go to the options tab here and we'll look up the 1099 vendor type. It's going to be a miscellaneous one and the box we're going to want is number seven. So let's select that and let's save this new vendor. And now let's use it in a transaction. So we'll go to transaction entry here and we'll look up our new vendor. Center purchase amount here. And it will automatically default in the 1099 amount for $2,000, which is the amount of the invoice. If you want to change that, you can. For example, say I was charged $2,000 on this invoice, but 200 of it was for supplies and the rest was for services. So $1,800 is the 1099 amount. So let's just put that in there. So this is going to capture the 1099 amount as $1,800. So let's just post that. So now that's in my payables. So a 1099 amount is not going to become reportable until it is paid, especially in the year that it's paid. So let's pay that invoice now. So we're just going to go over here and edit a check batch here. Let's put a new batch in. We'll add the batch. And then we'll look up our new vendor down here and um, there it is. So select this one to pay here and we'll just print the check. We'll print it to the screen and then we'll post it. So now that payment is posted in GP and it's flagged as a 1099 amount. So let's take a look at it and see what happens after this point. So now let's say that it's time to print the 1099 reports for the prior period. So we'll go down to routines and print 1099 and we'll print that report here. We're going to print the year and the type and we'll just print that out. We'll take a look at it. So what it's done is captured all my 1099 amounts that I made throughout the year. And here's the one that we just created. It's right there in my report. And normally I would print this out to a 1099 form. So what if the 1099 amounts are not correct? We can always go back and we can change the amounts for any vendor or all vendors. So how do we do that? We'll go to cards, we'll go to 1099 details. It opens up this screen here. Let's take a look at the vendor that we just added and just processed the payment for. This will show the amounts, 1099 amounts for this particular year that are gonna be reported for this particular vendor. So if we needed to make a change, we can merely go to this window and we can make the change. So here we have $1,800. Let's say that we made a mistake. We put an amount that was too large, so it's really supposed to be $1,500. So we just put that amount in and that's all we need to do. So the next time that we run that 1099 report, it'll print out properly and it's that easy to do. So setting up, processing, and reporting on 1099 payments in Dynamics GP is really quite easy to do. If you're not already using it, you really should because it's easy to do, it's easy to adjust, and it's easy to report.